Well, surrounding my mother's death, there was, um, I'd like to call it just a gross misunderstanding and, and just a lot of terrible hurt. It was the worst betrayal of my life when, when siblings turn on you and gang up on you and the rest of the family follows. It's, it's unimaginable. Part of what I'm struggling with is if I were to contact them and have a sit down like you and I, yeah. one of my sisters, how can I go forward without going back? One of the first steps of it is to decide if you're really willing to let it go. Like if you could forgive, are you willing to do that? I am willing to do that. So then the next step is we, we build a bridge of compassion to it. Try to feel their pain. They had something missing. There was a hole in them, a gap in them. And they were searching desperately for a way to fix it. What if they weren't in pain? What if they weren't, what if they were in anger? Anger is frustration. And frust we get frustrated because there's something that we want that we're not getting. Ah. There's another thing that often helps. Rewriting or rethinking about the story of it, what I tell myself, the narrative that I've created in my own mind, and rewriting that in a positive way. Can you see how it could position you for the next chapter of your life where things can unfold in a new and dynamic and positive way? I think I can. What happens? Just the whole perspective, the whole experience changes. Exactly. Everything shifts. And in that shift, we get the release. Yes. That's it. It's the magic.